Let's view how easy it is to navigate through the LabSim product and the features we include to assist you. There are several types of learning activities represented by different icons. The film strip icon represents an instructional video that includes detailed demonstrations. The document icon represents a fact sheet or a summary of the concepts about the topic. The mouse icon represents a hands-on practice exercise, and we refer to these as our lab simulations. Within the videos, the first option is to play the video by itself or with an interactive script. It doesn't matter which option you select initially because you can go to the other option at any time. Now let's look at all the features you have available within the videos. The 1x identifies the speed the instructor is speaking. The speed can be adjusted to your preference to be either faster or slower than the normal rate. You can opt to go to the interactive script, which displays the text while also showing the video. Within the interactive script, you can quickly move from one point to another by clicking the point you want to go to. The next type of activity are the text documents. Some of these documents may be fact sheets, providing a summary about the topic, while other pages may be helpful tips. The next activity type are the lab simulations. We provide three different types of labs, so let's review these. First is a skills lab. These are the labs that allow you to practice the skills you've just learned. Once the simulation environment opens, on the top left you can see how many total tasks need to be completed. Underneath is the first task you need to do. Complete it as outlined. As soon as the task is completed correctly, immediate feedback is provided. Click Continue to Next Task. Now let's say that you can't remember what to do for this particular task. There are two additional helps. The Hint button provides a text reminder, while the Show Me button provides a brief video clip of how to do the task. If you used either of the help features in order to complete the task, you'll be required to try the same task again later to see if you can perform it without assistance. After completing all the tasks, click View Score Report, or at any time you're also welcome to click the Done button in the upper right. A lab report will be displayed. The Challenge Labs are designed to help you achieve a greater skills proficiency. Notice your proficiency score is based on accuracy in performing tasks and time spent overall in the lab. The leaderboard shows how well other students in your school have performed on this particular lab. As soon as you click Begin, a timer will start. Notice that Hint is the only help option available. However, if you use this feature, you will not be awarded any points for completing that specific task. And just like with the Skills Labs, as soon as the task is completed correctly, immediate feedback is provided. The applied labs are like a final task exam to ensure that you can complete the task without any assistance. These labs are timed even though no timer will appear on the screen. Also, after completing a task, no window will appear to confirm it was completed, but the changes you make will be saved and you'll simply need to move on to the next task. Once you've completed all the tasks, a lab report will be displayed and after reviewing your progress, you can click Done. Thank you for watching the LabSim navigation demonstration. We hope it helps you make the most of your LabSim training.